Greetings from Mulatevu. This is Pastor Jerome greeting you on another Faith Food video. I am right now in the War Museum in Mulatevu, a very moving place, a very uh, sober reminder of how many people would have lost their lives and how a 30 year old war ended in this country. Aren't we glad? The thought I want to bring to you from this war museum where you see around me all the remains. In fact, I'm standing uh, right next to a, a ship or a boat that the rebels would have used to fight the war. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse number 4 and 5 gives us a reminder because even the Christian life, there is a warfare. There is a warfare. Now, in the natural war, the enemy would have used these kinds of weapons and the weapons that you see on the left side um, to fight the war. Now there is such a thing as a spiritual war that's going on, a spiritual warfare. Now to those of us who are watching this broadcast, Jesus has defeated the enemy. But there still is an existing warfare in the heavenlies that are taking place. So in the natural warfare, they used these kind of um, weaponry and armor. But the weapons of our warfare, 2 Corinthians 10, 4 says, is not carnal. Carnal meaning it's not fleshly. We don't use these kind of weapons to, to win the spiritual wrestle that's out there. And the scripture says, that the weapons the Lord has given us, they are spiritual. And you find them in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 through verse 18. The breastplate of righteousness. You have to gird your loins with truth. The helmet of salvation. Your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. The shield of faith, the sword of the spirit and all kinds of prayer. And it goes on. So the faithful thought I want to leave with you from Mulativ up in the north right now is you may be going through a spiritual war for a long time. Even though Jesus has won it for you, you have to live it out on this earth. You may still be in a war because you are not aware of the spiritual armor that God has given you. You're fighting with your phone, you're fighting with your contacts, you're calling unnecessary people and you're fighting to win but you're doing it in a carnal way, you're talking to lawyers, you're, you're, you're going to the wrong folk. Our weapons are not carnal. You can win it on your knees. You can win it on your knees. So today I encourage you to go to Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 onwards and read the weapons of our warfare. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4, the weapons of our warfare. We don't win with these kind of weapons. So this is the thought I bring to you from a very moving, emotional place, a location where it all ended. The war for 30 years, it all ended. The war museum from Mulativu. Live in the victory that Jesus has won for you. Use your spiritual weapons. See you again on another Faithful video soon on PastorJerome.org. God bless you.